Brian Philip Katz teaches at Kingsborough Community College and is the award-winning writer and director of several films, including the experimental poetry feature, Roman Buildings. All right, I uh, wrote a little um, protest poem for this event. It's called, My Protest Poem is a Protest Poem in the End. I knew I would be in the middle of it all. This is where you put only children with spring-loaded hair, deviated septa that were never repaired, puffy, decaffeinated eyes, and crooked teeth that could bend braces. This is where you put only children who are still calling themselves only children when they are middle-aged and trying out a style of poetry with more winks and nods than head-scratching illusions. But I'm not that only child. In high school, Father Taylor pointed this place out when talking about Horace or was it Homer? I was so, so bored by his solo performance of the entirety of Hamlet. Into the middle of things, he said, as he was looking at me, or cursing me, which he was apt to do, when condemning me to justice under God for sleeping in class, or for, as he said, spreading the descent of your mere being, cats. I was the dull arrow to his Achilles heel. And here, at this point in my protest poem, I'm apt to do a bad Irish accent, or an even worse imitation of Christopher Walken, that was Sean Connery. To grab your attention, to get my point across, but I may embarrass myself further. And you, Frem Shaman, and me, even more embarrassed because I'm aware that you're vicariously feeling my shame, but I don't have any of that. So it's all good, no worries. Wait, it's not all good. There are worries. Those of us here, the great mean of this mechanism, have worries, save worries, spend worries. Here's the deal. I'm somewhat fed, I'm almost funded, and I'm teaching like an oven bird, and my students are looking at my poofy head of hair, or the broken clock above my head, or maybe my many floating ideas, which are sometimes good and sometimes ugly dolls, but I love to share. Or maybe they're actually looking at me, listening to what I have to say, and I'm too humble to admit that I'm good at my job. But I'm good at my job. <laughs> and on the right day, my hair ain't half bad either. I'm fine. You're fine, I hope. The value of fine does not equate to the value. I'm going to do it. One of those awkward slant rhymes that just flatten when they fall out of my mouth. Of time, of which we've run out. And I offer my yes from Immedius Rest. <laughs>